Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey tea sippers, happy Monday and I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here with some late night tea. It's been a bunch of drama going on on social media, honey. So make sure you guys get your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So if you guys don't know, Cardi B and Akbar V have currently been going back and forth on social media, child, for hours now, okay? It's crazy. I've literally been sitting here. I done did a podcast, edited a podcast, and they were still going back and forth. So I'm here to kind of break down the drama. So if y'all don't know, if you're not a part of, you know, Barty Gang, Cardi recently dropped a new music video with Glorilla. Now, Glorilla is a female rapper. She's from Memphis, Tennessee, and she has been burning up the charts. She's the one who dropped that Baby Daddy song this summer that just, you know, it went viral and people loved it. Got a weird, but full, nigga cheap. And so Glorilla has just really been trying to get her foot in the game and, you know, really do her thing. And Cardi decided to collaborate with her, which is a really big deal to have Cardi on her track. So so they dropped the video for tomorrow, too, and that dropped this past Friday. And a lot of people really liked the song. They loved the visuals. Um, everybody was sharing it on social media. Um, we also posted it. We supported it as well. And I personally really like Cardi B's verse on this song. I thought the verse was cool, was dope. She did her thing. I really enjoyed it. It was kind of different from all her other verses. And a lot of people have really been praising the song. And they really like the fact that this Southern girl from Memphis and then you got this chick from BX, they're collaborating. They're doing this, you know, video. So she was basically celebrating, as she should, that her latest video, Tomorrow 2, has already surpassed 6 million views on YouTube. So she took to Twitter hours ago and she said this they say it don't fuck with me but i say they can't fuck with me and she basically showed a screenshot she's trending number one on music and they have over six million views in less than three days now other artists have also dropped music recently but they didn't get as many views as quickly so you know cardi b was celebrating doing her thing and then all of a sudden, it seemed like that kind of bothered Akbar. She started throwing subliminal shots. Now, if you don't know who Akbar V is, she's a rapper. She's from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. So now, if you guys don't know, two weeks ago, she jumped on the remix of Super Freaky Girl with Nicki Minaj. So it's Nicki Minaj, JT, Bia, Katie Got Bands, Akbar, and Malibu Mitch. So they were all on this song. And a lot of people liked it and supported it. And I remember one of my, you know, my favorite Barb, um, Malachi, he hit me up and he asked me to listen to the song. And so, you know, I did. I said, okay, let me go ahead and check it out. And so I did. And I even told him I felt the person who had the best bars mm -hmm. on the song was Akbar out of all the features. I thought she did really good. So I'm really surprised that this drama erupted because two weeks ago they were shining and, you know, doing their thing with the Queen mix. And now that Cardi's doing her thing with Glorilla, it seems to be bothering people. And I don't get that. It's like there's always some drama in female rap. I get it if people aren't friends and they're not cool to each other. It is what it is. But it always seems like when she is having a highlight moment, when her music is doing good, when she's getting praise, people feel away. But two weeks ago, these same women were getting praise. Mm. People were rocking with the song. You know, they got their moment. And I don't recall her throwing any shade at the song. So anyways, um, when she posted that, it was so much back and forth on Twitter. It was crazy. So after Cardi posted that, Akbar got online and she basically said, if at chart data ain't say it, we ain't believe in the cap. OK, so a lot of people knew that that was shots at Cardi because Cardi had posted, you know, what the YouTube views were. But Akbar's, you know, kind of throwing shots. So then Cardi came back a few hours later and she was like, count all the times that chart data posted you. Then Cardi came back and was like, I don't really like Internet games. My DMs are open and also the streets. Then Akbar came at Cardi and was like, who gave this whole Cardi B my number? Got to be one of y'all weird ass hoes. 
So now they're kind of going back and forth. Akbar ends up posting text messages between her and Cardi B. And so all in all, Cardi felt like she's doing all this for attention. She's doing all this. She's bringing all this drama to the internet. And for what? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. It's a lot of tweets. It's a lot of back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, you know, their back and forth about everything. So check this out. Man, listen, Cardi B, Barty. Bitch, nobody is scared of you or your husband. I swear to God. Like this on Jesus Christ, daddy. Bitch, yo nigga be breakdancing, ticking, moonwalking all in the club with all that dumb ass shit. Bitch, who's scared of y'all? Like, he's not a gangster. I don't fear nothing with him. Like, I don't even get scared by even standing with this nigga. That nigga had like 17 guns. I would never think I'd get shot. I think he'll just start doing some critical shit like in rush hour three. Like, bitch, what is wrong with you? He's not a gangster. How he snitching on himself? Man, that boy got his ass struck. <laughs> chain snack. Hey, I could call them folk back get that chain. That's how plugged in I am. Bitch, you don't even... You 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 can't you can't come to bleeding. You can't come to bleed the Cardi B. You can't come over there in my hood. You say you don't talk to my my hood. Okay, whatever. You making up this shit on, online. But yeah, that, that, that fight that you and your sister getting... Look, I might have did get my ass beat a couple years ago. You know, I done lost on one song. Listen, Cardi, but you and your sister got beat up. Me and my sister never got beat up. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? That was fun. That was fun. But, you know, now I got to gotta pick up my kid and then we got to go see a couple of dance classes. Because, uh, you know, I'm a mother first. Um, thank you guys for all the support that you guys been showing. Uh, the Tomorrow 2 record, still number one on Apple. Uh, Six million views in three days. All because of y'all. Make sure y'all keep streaming. I love y'all. And tell me you love me. Tell me you love me, Barty Gang, right now. Thank you. Wait, matter of fact, if you want to show me that you love me, you show that you show me that you're streaming per. All right, so you guys just saw the tweets and back and forth, and basically everything ended, um, you know, with Cardi just in the car talking and posting a link to the song. So this whole back and forth was just, you know, kind of crazy. But like I said, I feel like every time something is going good for her, the girls come out the woodwork to throw shade and to, you know, kind of rain on her parade. And, you know, I wish that she wouldn't feed into it. You know what I mean? It'd have been better off if she just ignored her and kept celebrating her win instead of letting people pull her out of her character. But, you know, it's just kind of crazy that these rap girls, for whatever reason, cannot get along. It's like it's all this drama. And some of it comes from the fans. You know, they keep the drama going as well. And then the artists end up feeding into it. But anyways, child, I'll leave y'all with the question. How did y'all feel about this back and forth? Are you team Akbar in this? Are you team Cardi? And do you feel like every time something's going good for Cardi, folks be coming at her, throwing shots, you know, trying to discount her accomplishments? So let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share the video. And make sure you still subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.